Another capacity crowd gathered in Vale for the 7th IFSC Boulder World Cup of 2013. One of the highest World Cup stops at 8,000 feet of altitude and part of the GoPro Mountain Games. Shauna Coxey of Great Britain, who's been recovering from her injured knee that she sustained in 2012, looked very strong in this competition and set the standards high with a flash on problem one. Alex Puccia from the United States was very excited to be climbing in front of her home crowd but was disappointed with her first climb having failed to flash taking her five attempts to top this could be damaging to her podium finish. Akio Noguchi still searching for gold this year matched Shauna Coxey's standard with a flash on problem one at the same time as Rustam Galmanov of Russia hit the top on men's problem one. Dmitry Shavafutsdinov of Russia, who was absent last week in Hamilton, Canada, matched Rustam Gelmanov on problem one, sending the Russians to the top of the leaderboard, with the other men all struggling on problem one. Women's problem two looked easy for most of them, with Alex Puccio flashing it, keeping her well in contention for a medal. However, Austria's Anna Stur, the athlete who's dominated the World Cup this year, again struggled to flash and made the top on her third attempt, using all the time allowed. The gold medalist in Innsbruck, Julian Wurm of Germany, was back in form here with her second flash on the final on problem two. The men's problem two caused a lot of difficulties, and so at the halfway stage, this is how the tables looked. Russia holding top spots in the men's with Rustam Gelmanov and Dmitry Sharafutstanov with the only top so far. And in the women's competition, Anna Stur trailing in fourth place. And it could be that the world number one might not even make the podium here. Julian Verm, Aki Noguchi and Shona Coxey holding the medal positions. On problem three, Jörg Verhoeven came out extremely strong as Shona Coxey looked to struggle. Verhoeven raised the bar and in the second half of the finals with a flash on problem three, kept him in great contention for a medal. Rustam Gelmanov, who's looking in much better form than we've seen him so far this year, took three attempts but managed to get to the top in guaranteeing him a medal at this stage in the competition. The world number one, Dmitry Shavafutstinov, came out to flash problem three and looked almost certain to take gold with that climb. Shona Coxey did top problem three, but it took her quite a few attempts, and that could cost her a podium. Alex Puccio, looking as strong as ever, took her time on problem four before attempting and flashing her final problem. This held Alex in first position, but with Akio Noguchi to come, she needed to make the top in five attempts to ensure the gold.
but incredibly Noguchi took six attempts and this gave a slight chance for Anna Stor coming back from way down in the field to come back and take the goal. but she needed to flash this problem to take the gold. Incredibly, Stur shows her class. She flashes the problem and takes her sixth gold of the year, her third straight gold in Vail and the 19th of her career. An incredible performance. Killian Fischuber, who's been picking up goals around the World Cup this year, had to settle for fourth in this event, finishing with his only top of the final. Rustam Govanov of Russia secured his first medal of 2013 and got a silver. And he's now setting his sights for the European Championships later on this year. But it was world number one Dmitry Sharafutdinov who's really showing some excellent form of late and he secured the gold here in Vale, his first of the 2013 season. Good night San Diego. Dimitri, many congratulations. Your 11th World Cup title. You must be very happy. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy because it's my second uh, gold medal in this year. And uh, I think for overall World Cup, it's very nice. And uh, because uh, I won't win overall World Cup, and uh, today, gold medal for me, it's uh, very good. It's been a sketchy season for you, hasn't it? You know, a few finals and a couple of semi-finals, but this second place now, you must feel you're back near to your best. But uh, before this competition, I think I won it, but I Dimitri a little bit stronger me, and I think this is really normal for sport. But uh, this season not good for me. It's, it's not secret. <laughs> What you got the European Championship to look forward to? Yes, a training for the European Championship, of course, is important start uh, in the... It's, it just talk me through that last problem, because did you know at the back of your mind how many you may have needed? No, I had no idea. I thought if I do the last problem, I'd be in third position for sure. So um, I was psyched to get onto the podium, actually. And when I, um, yeah, when I was on the top and I came down, Alex told me, you won. And I was like, no, you won. But yeah, I mean, um, I guess it all came down to attempts and it was pretty close. Like, check, I don't know what to check, say, check, really. Check. Well, check, check. Uh, well, we were flabbergasted in the commentary box and, and of how we, we knew that you needed to do it on this one. But when it comes down to handling pressure, do you feel now that you are one of the best in the business at, at doing so? When you need to pull out a climb on the last problem, a lot of the time you do do so. Um, well, honestly, this time I didn't even know that I had the chance to win. As I said earlier, I thought if I do it, I'll be in third position. I didn't think that I could still win the comp. But um, normally, I guess I'm pretty good with handling the pressure. But this time I just, yeah, I had no idea. 